Is A plus worth getting? Well, I think it's important to understand that A plus is an entry level certification. It provides those fundamental skills for beginners and it kind of points you in a point of understanding how operating systems function and the hardware in which they function upon, meaning the CPUs, the GPUs, the RAM, the, the hard drives, the SSDs, all those great things are covered under A+. And so it provides that foundational stamp of approval, that foundational certification saying, yes, you understand that, uh, but does that mean it's worthwhile? Well, it provides widely exception of employers, meaning employers accept that certification. You have employer recognition because CompTIA has done such a great job of verifying the skills and the tests or the baselines of that knowledge through a proctored exam that you go through in order to get that certification. So even having it on your resume does say, hey, I went through the process and I paid money for and I got accepted for this certification. It's on your resume to provide you certification, a number associated with it. And so, yeah, it provides you a little bit of recognition on that resume, meaning that if you're going against somebody else on your resume, resume to resume, and they have Network Plus and you have Network Plus, uh, but you have A Plus and they don't, it could edge you up forward. It could edge you up a little bit, even if you're lacking that that expertise or even that that skill set or that job experience in that resume. It could could nudge you up. And so I call that, yeah, it's worth it's worth on that aspect of it. It also provides a little bit of career opportunity, right? Now, I pointed out in our last video that Geek Squad members and IT support specialists, they're probably the ones that most likely have this certification. I even pointed out that most help destinations probably don't have this certification because they just don't tear apart computer systems that often enough. But I, that might have been a little bit misleading because help desk technicians do have to understand how an operating system functions within its core hardware. And so having that a plus may get you that help desk technician position that desktop support technician position which will laterally or or progress i should say your career forward it's an entry point into it it's an entry point into where you may want to be maybe you want to be a cybersecurity specialist maybe you want to be like this great guy that that really goes into cybersecurity and does all these great things but you have to start somewhere right you're you're not going to start at the top and so you have to start at the beginning for a lot of people, especially brand new college students, high school students, this is a perfect opportunity to get that A-plus certification, get into that help desk technician role, get into that desktop support technician role, and kind of work your way forward in that role. And I would say 100% a great value to that A-plus certification. So that's, that's two for two, right? That's employer recognition of the certification, plus it opens some doors for you. By opening doors, even though they're level doors, they still provide that experience. And it's experience above all else, trumps everything. It really does. I've said that time and time again. It doesn't matter if you have a PhD like I do in IT. If you don't have experience and you're trying to get a help desk role, probably not going to find it. Matter of fact, I would wager at this point in time that if I went against a high school student with A+, plus, uh, and I have all this experience, they would probably hire you over me. I mean, it's probably for different reasons, but they would probably hire you, right? Uh, and so take that with some value added to it, right? There's growth potential as well. You have that, that help destination, you have that desktop support position, which the A plus gave you. Now you have the, the ability to move forward because of that experience. And you can now work towards network plus, you can work towards security plus, you can work towards another certification, right? Uh, and so that's definitely worthwhile, right? All right, current cost for A plus, I believe is $246 per exam. Uh, there are two exams required and that makes it a little bit more expensive because you have part one and part two associated with it to get the full A plus experience. However, however, if you have a .edu account, you can go to the CompTIA Academia website, which gives you, I think it's like 40 to 50% off the exam cost, which makes it a lot more affordable. Uh, but definitely something you might want to look at, right? Uh, Entry-level jobs are hard to come by. They really are. I think anybody that's in this sphere, anybody that's uh, that looking into getting into cyber IT, they understand how hard entry-level positions to get into. Uh, it, we fight this all the time, right? This is not a new concept. Anybody that is looking for an entry-level role for their first-time position, it's always rough. Look, it was rough when I got into it. it. It's rough five years before I got into it, which was, you know, 30-plus years ago. It's rough 10 years ago. It's rough now. Entry-level positions are hard to get into. They really are. 
And so if, if A plus can get you into an entry level role, like a help destination, like it's a desktop support technician, while you work on future education, in my opinion, well worth it, well worth the money spent at that point. And a lot of companies will actually pay for this. So even if you don't have A plus right away, it might be worth getting if you're already in that role to expand your knowledge, especially if your company or your organization places value on those certifications that says, hey, this person's going the other way, it may be worth a raise, right? Sometimes a quarter raise is still a quarter an hour raise, uh, and that can lead you above and beyond. And it's going to get you noticed. And so I consider any education to be worthwhile and beneficial, okay? Um, focus. Uh, I want to talk about it, right? We, we've identified that A-plus is all about the focus of the computer, right? It's all about understanding how the computer hardware interoperates with the software and, and how that knowledge can propel you forward. I got to tell you, and I said this in the last video, it is expected that you as an individual, if you're going into IT and cybersecurity, understand how a computer functions, right? We don't expect you to have A+. But if I ask you what RAM is, I expect you to tell me not only that it's random access memory, but why RAM is important and how it works on a system. And that might be a question that you could expect to see on an entry-level position, even if it's for networking or cybersecurity, especially if I don't see it in your resume. And so with that aspect of it, A plus might be worthwhile to go get that certification, especially if it's at a reduced cost, especially if your employer is paying for it. Maybe you've got some extra money laying around from the student loans, right? It's a mid semester aspect and you're a freshman, you're thinking about going through this. It might be worth getting. It really might in that aspect. If is it going to give you hands down uh, benefit over everybody else? I, I don't think so. Will the knowledge get you? Yes, I firmly believe that the knowledge you gain from A+, even if you don't get the certification, is well worth your time, well worth your effort. And, and I say that across the board. I think knowledge in IT and cybersecurity is always worth getting. It really is. You can never have enough knowledge when it comes to IT and cybersecurity. You just can't. And our field changes so rapidly in so many different directions that you kind of need to know it. And, and it's expected that you understand that baseline information that A+, offers. And if you're going through and you're getting all that information, why not get the certification as well, okay? Uh, next, you're probably going to ask, do you do study things for A+. No, I don't. But you know who does? Uh, Total Seminar says, uh, Dion does, and uh, Master does. All three of those. Professor Messer, Dion Training, and Total Seminars. All great, all great companies uh, that I will give a shout out to. Now, I do want to point out that I have done contract work for Total Seminars. Uh, I've worked with him before, and I know Jason Dion, okay? He was a professor a long time ago when I was doing my master's degree before he fully transitioned over to what he is now. Uh, I still have his phone number, believe it or not. I, no, I don't call him, and no, I will not give it to you. Don't ask. It's not going to happen. Uh, he would kill me, right? But but uh, I do want to put that bias out there, right? And I think those are some great companies that you could really look forward to. And I used I used Messer a long time ago as well, right? All right, so is A plus worth it? I think we can over over abundantly say that a plus is worth it if you're brand new to it and you're looking foundational skills i really firmly believe that uh it's great if you're trying to build an it career from scratch uh that means brand new high school student or college student maybe at the younger generational gap do i think it's great for somebody that's maybe working in retail maybe you're in your mid to late 20s uh, maybe in your 30s and you're trying to transition over to IT or cyber. Maybe you're trying to get out of that field and get into something more professional. Do I still feel like it's worth getting? I don't think that I do. I don't think that I do. Um, and the reason is, is because usually people in those positions, uh, people are transitioning from one career over to another. Uh, they're looking for something right away, right? And, and time is money. When you're a high school student, when you're a college student, you've got time. And I know it doesn't sound like it, but you do, okay? Uh, and you're not looking for those those roles that are paying off a lot. I mean, a lot of you are, right? But let's be honest about it, okay? And I and I hate to say this, but the fact is, is that you don't have the experience to fall on, right? If you're brand new to high school or you're a brand new college student, you don't have a working experience. And so you kind of have to make it up with certifications. You kind of have to prove that, yeah, I don't have the working experience, but I have this. And of course, I, I often hear from high school and college students telling me, but but they don't have experience either. Well, they kind of do. Because believe it or not, no matter what job you work, regardless if it's Starbucks, regardless if it's working at a thrift store, it doesn't matter where you work. You have some type of job experience and you've shown up to work and you understand the professional environment. And to be honest, that's kind of worth its weight in gold. And as a fresh high school student or, or a college student, you don't have that. And so you kind of have to defer your way in a different direction. 
Um, and so it, it's it's in it's a double side coin when I say, and I know it sounds hypocritical, and I'm sorry, it's just the way that it is. That if you're a high school or a brand new college student, go get A plus. I think it's worthwhile. If you're a transitioning adult, and I don't mean to be mean, but an adult over you know 25, uh, I don't think A plus is worth it. I think you should still have the knowledge. You should definitely watch the videos. You should definitely understand if you don't already. You should definitely understand how a computer functions. Um, but I don't think the certification is worth it near as much. I don't think it has the value that it has for a high school student or a college grad. And I'm, I'm sorry. That's my own thoughts and opinion. All right. That's it for today. I'm Dr. K. If you would like subscribe, I would appreciate it. We'll see you next time.